Man, I love malls. I do. Once I was in this mall up in Atlanta, and these guys were dancing for, like, money and stuff, and my friend Dave and I was all like, Alice, sweetie, can this wait? Jimmy Gibbs Jr. is the man. I mean, I don't know anybody like that, man. But there was this guy I knew. He raced dirt tracks, not stock cars, but open wheel cars, you know? And he was racing once. And a goat... Alice, is now the best time? Okay. But there was a goat. I knew this guy who was trying to set the world record on staying on a Ferris wheel. He'd been up there like two days or something, and he wanted some beer, but they weren't giving him any, so he got this rope. Now, don't ask me where he got the rope from. And he, Boy, you are wearing me out. Man, all this mud reminds me of a friend, Keith. Yeah, he was going to build a shack once to live in and all. And I know most people here, they build houses and they become shacks. But Keith, he was about jumping right to the shack stage. But he had no wood, so he got some mud and was making what we were all thinking was going to be these adobe bricks, you know, like when the people out west made bricks and shit. Well, he had mud and... We ain't got time for this, Ellis. I ain't never been in sugarcane field before. I mean, I seen them and all, but no real reason to go into one. But now you go into a peach grove, you find all sorts of cool shit. This one time, I was in a... Uh-huh. Do you know what suck the heads means? Because I came down here with Keith once, and he didn't know, and... I mean, it ain't nothing bad. It's about eating. I ever tell you about the time Keith and I made fireworks? Now, I didn't know shit about chemistry, but Keith figured gasoline burns, doesn't it? <laughs> Third degree burns on 95% of his body. Man, people in the next city over were calling to complain about the smell of burning skin. I ever tell you about the time Keith tried to deep fry turkey? Third degree burns over 90% of his body. His doctor called up like other doctors to look at him because they'd never seen burns on top of existing burns. I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith drove his car off a cliff, broke both his legs? Hey, it's not a funny ha-ha story so much as it's a make-you-think story. For instance, windshields look pretty durable, right? Yeah, not the case according to Keith. Son of a bitch flew right through that sucker. My buddy Keith lived in a graveyard once for a whole year. It wasn't a dare or nothing. He just got kicked out of his house. He said he never saw a single ghost except this one time when a ghost stabbed him from behind and took all his money. And he might have just been a homeless guy because he had a robe on with two eyes cut out of his face. My buddy Keith tried camping out on top of a building once. He was shooting crows, but the police were too busy tear gassing him to ask what he was doing up there. He screamed for an entire year every single time he opened his eyes. Oh, man. At first, it was funny. Then it just got sad, but then it got funny again. Oh, man. I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith got rolled by a gator in a swamp? Man, he didn't agonize it or nothing. We were just trying to grab two so we could piss him off and get him into a fight. Well, anyway, the third time Keith went under, I realized something was wrong. So I, I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith drowned in the tunnel of love? You wouldn't think it could happen because the water's so shallow, but that's how it gets you, man. Overconfidence. Keith was with his lady at the time, and he was yelling for her to save him, but she didn't want to get wet. I ever tell you about the time me and Keith snuck a paintball guns on a roller coaster? I never heard of anybody else doing it, so I thought we might have invented a sport. So Keith called a patent office, but I ever tell you about the time me and Keith made homemade bumper car ride with ride mowers in his backyard? Mower blade wounds over 90% of his body. I didn't run him over either. He somehow managed to fall under his own. I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith fell out the roller coaster? Yeah, he didn't drop far, mind you, just onto the tracks, but the carnival people wouldn't stop the ride because all the other people paid good money and Keith snuck on for free, so he had to dodge for like 20 minutes or so. One time, the army bombed my buddy Keith. He went camping and didn't bother to read the signs, and I guess they were just testing bombs that day. All sorts of stuff, too, not just regular bombs, like biological nerve gas bombs, shrapnel bombs, these bombs that break up into the air to like a hundred smaller bombs. I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith fell down an open manhole? He was unconscious down there for like a week. During that time, unbeknownst to Keith, they paved over him. Keith had to. I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith and I were on the top of a burning building and we had to fight our way down like five floors of zombie? It... Wait a second. I guess that was you guys. Oh, shit, man. I can't wait to tell Keith about that one. I ever tell you about the time me and Keith filled up water balloons with our own... Oh, oh sweetie, sweetie, can this wait? Now the best time. Okay.
This one time, my buddy Keith on a dare got a tattoo. I'm a moron. <laughs> right across his forehead, man. Of course, he made 200 bucks off that, so you ask yourself. Who's the real moron, huh? It's one time my buddy Keith started up a historic tour on account his mom took him to Colonial Williamsburg, and it's like a license to print money at them places. Now, you might ask yourself how an honest attempt to recreate the majesty of colonial times turned into raccoon fights at five bucks a pop at Keith's backyard. <laughs> Man, the answer to that particular question is that Keith is sharing a place with his two brothers and then being assholes who wouldn't let him do it anywhere but the backyard. Well, add that to Keith didn't technically have any, you know, history to put on display, but he did have a whole family of raccoons living in the chassis of an old car. And you begin to understand. You know, my buddy Keith had his car dropping a lake off a bridge just like this one here. Yeah, see, he was driving over it late at night, and there in the middle of the bridge was what looked like, in Keith's estimation, like a dead bear. So Keith gets out his car to find, like, a stick to poke at it, right? Well, it turns out it's just some lady's fur coat that must have fallen out her car. So, hey, furry coat, right? Now, owls won't normally attack a man, but in this case, they were hungry, and that made them reckless, man. Keith reckons they must have been there for hours watching what they thought was a bear carcass. Because as soon as he picked it up, them owls had claws in him an inch deep. Well, Keith figures his best bet is to jump in a lake, because owls can't swim. Well, them howls could. He fought them for like 20 minutes treading water. And during that time, a boat came, bridge went up, and down went Keith's car. Man, sometimes nature's just trying to teach us, if we'd only listen. I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith made sushi? Yeah, his mom took him to a sushi place for his birthday, and he didn't want to go, but he turned out he loved it, man. But it's like 10 bucks a sushi show at one of them places. So Keith figures, hey, how hard could it be to roll up some raw food and seaweed, right? As it turns out, it's hard. Now, they say experience is the best teacher, and experience taught Keith that if you ever eat three pounds of raw chicken, it kills you. Now, luckily, Keith's brain went into self-defense mode and started shutting organs down to head the chicken off of the pass, and the doctors were able to get him out before his heart stopped. But to this day, Keith has no sensation in his right foot and doesn't recognize his brother Paul no more. Hey, y'all. Yeah, I like this bridge you got. You know, this reminds me, my buddy Keith and I were once on a bridge just like this, man. Well, kind of. I mean, I mean, I was on the bridge, and Keith was sure he could jump the river without the bridge. So I raised the bridge, and well... Did you know cars could float? I mean, for a little while at least. I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith got married? Of course not. That's a trick question. He never got married. You know, you hear about them runaway brides, right? Well, Keith was a runaway groom. And on his wedding day, it all started when... I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith got married? Of course not. That's a trick question. Because he never did get married. You know, you always hear about them runaway brides. Well, Keith, he was a runaway groom on his wedding day. Yep, all started when he... I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith snuck into a wedding? He thought he was being smart, getting all dressed up and like, but it seems the preacher wasn't there, and they all thought he was the preacher, and well, <laughs> he married him the best he could. I think that counts for them being married, but I don't know, maybe not. I think they named one of their 